Count of S6 settling on the outside and we look set to go here. Starter lets them go. Against the tide, the inside bounce well with grand final. Looks to be wanting to be right up there. Skelly Island jumped OK. And then leaked on the outside of Red's mate, just allowed to find its feet in the early stages along with Count of Essex. So not a lot of tempo going up the hill now towards the 1300 metre mark and against the tide the favourite gets it to suit this afternoon. Stan Sakos has had a good day and he rolls along three quarters in front of Grand Final who settles nice in second spot. There's no pace to report by the looks. Getting up on the outside improving there was leaked around the outside of Skelly Island and Count of Essex travels back second last and last of all Red's mate but only about five off the lead, four lengths, five lengths off the lead passing the 1,000 metre mark where against the tide makes play, deserves a win and runs past the 9.5 in front of Grand Final who's right there. In third spot then on the inside Skelly Island from leaked its outside, two lengths count of Essex and Red's mate spotting a start off the back now up the six where against the tide, Sakos has dictated nicely, three quarters in front of Grand Final who looks ready to issue the challenge and they've just upped the tempo there the leaders. Sakos just giving this leader a reminder. Skelly Island now off the bit but starts to run on and look at count of Essex, the old boy starting to put in. A gap then leaked who might have run his race and Red's mate. So coming around the turn inside the four and against the tide. A half in front of Grand Final. Count of Essex continues to come on. He's on the inside. Deeper out. Skelly Island's a real battle and Red's mate's ripping down the outside. It's against the tide at the 250. The leader under plenty of pressure. Grand Final and Red's mate baby right down the outside for Wiseman going out after against the tide. Who's kicking strongly but Red's mate big momentum late and Red's mate gets in to score. A good win. A length on the line to against the tide had his chance from grand final and then Skelly Goyle and Count of Essex loomed up and the last o'clock in leaked. Reds mate, Sonia Wiseman, Super Sonia coming with big strides late and has closed it out here with Chris Pollard training, a big win in the final event. Coming home strong number five, Reds mate. Against the tide battling hard, just couldn't break through this afternoon. Grand final was right there. They pretty much stayed together for the trip. And it'll be Skelly Goylan and Count of Essex closer up behind those who look to have their chances. She got pretty wide there in the head on, but uh, had big momentum. And Red's mate. Sonia's been uh, with this horse for its past couple of starts. It run good two starts back. I thought the other day was just a, a pass mark, but also beaten only three and a half lengths. So Stepping up to the mile this afternoon, a distance that it has uh, had before, uh, a win before, it was ready to go all right. So 523 numbers confirmed. 136.2, that is hand time, please note. So the timer might have been just a fraction out there. But that would be about right. There didn't seem to be a lot of tempo in the race. Now numbers confirmed, 5236, fourth goes to six. And that was Skelly Island. But the winner, number five, Red's made a six-year-old Bay Gelding. Heritage, Cambiata for Kelvin Moore and B.L. Moore, trained by Chris Pollard and Sonia Wiseman, the winning jockey here. Second goes to two against the Tide. A six-year-old Bale Brown gelding, Dane Shadow, Red Ivory for Emma Steele, Stan Sakos. And third to three, grand final, four-year-old Bale Brown gelding, host final act for Patrick Johnson and Vanessa Rarnett. But the winner returning down the race, number five, Red's made at start. Only 19's had the four wins, so it's been all right. And two minor placings thrown in, takes his prize money up towards the $45,000 mark. And the jockey challenge, I can tell you, Sonia with that uh, takes her to seven points. Stan Sakos, he's run second, he finishes up on seven points. And he ran third, number three, that was uh, grand final for Vanessa, she'll only end up a point. So... Sonia Wiseman, Super Sonia and Stan Sagel, seven points. They've ended up uh, taking out the Jockey Challenge this afternoon. Came from nowhere. Sonia was around an $8.50 chance. Stan had money supported there. He's $2.80 chance today in the Jockey Challenge. So well done to those two. They've fought it out right to the end. It was a good battle that this afternoon. We stand by for correct weight. One and a half by a half the margin. 136.2. 5.2. 3.61.